Hey, this is Forrest from BlogBots and today I've got a simple video for you just to easily show you how you can change a link into a um, cool looking button simply using some easy CSS. So first off we've got this example post and we're going to put a link in um, anywhere we want. It doesn't have to be in WordPress that, that you do this, it could be for any link on any HTML page. So first let's make our link click this link uh, we'll link that to anywhere you want okay so now we have a link here and um, the next thing we want to do is give this individual link a class so we'll go to our text view and after the A you can type in the word class and name it whatever you want. We're going to call it uh, button underscore link underscore red just as an example. So make sure you copy that class go back to the visual you see it still looks the same. I'm saving the draft and we're going to have a look at this post in preview once that's saved. Okay, so just click on preview. Here we have our example post and the link is just there. Um, I'm using a plugin called Web Developer. This is the Chrome version, but it's available for Firefox as well. So I'm going to click um, just here on the icon and when it loads. Up, I will go to CSS, edit CSS and this enables me to live edit the CSS so I can see what the visual looks like. Um, you can edit anywhere here it's not important but if we go to the style sheet for the theme that I'm using for now I'll just put it at the top so dot button link red that's our actual link so Let's start off by giving it a background so we can see where we are. So background green, there's the link. Give it some padding. And already you can see it's starting to look like a button. Um, in this case I don't have any text decoration on this link but I would take text decoration off as well which would remove an underline. So set that to none and maybe set the color to white, the font weight to bold. We're just putting a bunch of styles here to make it look more like a button. Um, maybe give it a border radius to round the edges. Five pixels, see how that looks. It looks pretty good maybe we'll make it more 10 pixels uh, maybe increase the font size to 30 pixels or whatever you want we're getting a nice big button now um, let's increase the padding as well to 15 okay um, so if we wanted to give it a slightly, slightly more fancy board uh, background maybe a gradient then you can get CSS gradients very easily from colorzilla.com forward slash gradient dash editor sorry hyphen editor and they have a number of presets here or you can play with it yourself and create your own gradient however you want um, for now let's take a red preset seeing as we've named our button red uh, we'll take the one with the gradient in the middle and you can simply copy this this code here which will be for it supports most browsers it's a cross browser code uh, there is a, an ad additional um, stuff for IE9 but don't worry about that for now and we'll replace this green background with our fancy code so now we'll see we're really getting a nice button now um, maybe we'll even give it a, a border say 5px solid border in 
black 000. And maybe a box shadow. 1px, 1px, 1px. There we go. So now we're getting a nice link at the moment. Uh, there's a problem on the hover, so you'll want to mess with the hover state as well. So let's copy this CSS we got for the standard link. You could actually make this a dot button underscore link red, or you can just target the style like that. So let's do the a, and then here. We've copied the, sorry, I'll bring the style up so you can see more. And we want to make this for the, the hover state. We can test that, put 35 on the padding. Yep. You can see on the hover it changes the, put it back to 15. Um, at the moment nothing's happening on the hover because we've got all the settings exactly the same so maybe we would want to change the opacity to 0 0.8 now on hover the link lightens up a bit you could even change the background so let's select another gradient say a black and replace all the gradient stuff here. Now we're talking. And that's basically it. As you can see, we've just played around with some CSS to create a nice looking button out of a link. And this can be done to any link uh, that has a class applied to it. Um, you can reuse this class. so. If you wanted any link to display like this, just put whatever your name of your class that you've styled is, and um, just play around with the styles and see what you can create. So once you've got all of this CSS, you can just copy it. So we've got our hover and our standard CSS. You can copy it and paste it into the relevant CSS file within your WordPress theme or within your HTML. Um, site of wherever you're keeping your CSS files and it's as simple as that. So if you've got any questions just leave a comment uh, either underneath the post for this video or underneath the video itself on YouTube. If you've enjoyed the um, the video or, or anything then you know let us know by giving us a like and it would be awesome if you could subscribe to the channel too. So thanks very much and I hope this has been helpful.